When we were in Ann Arbor last time, Ari over at Zingerman's told us we should really check out Carytown Market. It's a collection of historic buildings that were renovated, connected, and then turned into a great place to shop, eat, work, or just spend the afternoon. Karen Farmer got me started on the whole Carytown experience. This is the place you can go to and you can literally spend the whole day here and never run out of things to see, things to buy, things to eat, or things to do. Right, right. Carytown's been here since the late 60s. It was right. developed by a gentleman by the name of Art Carpenter. He saved this area from being demolished. Was he an actual carpenter? Um, no, oh. he was a lawyer. <laughs> okay, not my best joke right. ever. Right, and he actually named Carytown after his mother-in-law's place of origin, which is County Cary, Ireland. And that's how Carytown oh. name came to fruition. And then as other businesses came into the neighborhood, it just identified itself as Carytown. And you can't not love the atmosphere and energy they've created here. I wish every town had a Carytown. It's a great place for everybody in the community to come, spend time. You can shop, just hang out, have some coffee. And it's just, it's just a wonderful thing to have. It's great. It's wonderful. And it's pretty easy to find, too. Just look for the bell tower, which, by the way, happens to be connected to a really cool old instrument that you can actually play. I'm waiting in line to play the bells. I'm going to rock. Heather O'Neill is Carytown's resident bell expert. And boy, is she in for an auditory treat. Do you have any Led Zeppelin I can play or? Maybe some uh, ACDC or mm. Deep Purple. There's Stairway to Heaven. Jackpot. Get ready to rock. Yeah. Stairway to Heaven by Tom Dalton. All right, I better quit before a mob of angry townspeople gather. <sighs> Did that sound anything like the song? Even close? <laughs> It was beautiful. No, it didn't. No, Here's I'm terrible. Oh, I don't deserve it, but thanks. <laughs> thanks, Heather. Anytime. Carytown has a treat for all your senses, and the intoxicating aromas we encountered made our next discovery easy to find and even harder to leave. Lisa Freeman owns the spice merchants here at Carytown, and she's put more spice into her life than most people would even know what to do with. When I first walked in the store, what actually came to mind was spice isn't always heat. People say, I don't like spicy food because it's too hot. Mm -hmm. Spice is flavor. They flavor. Right. They don't add heat unless you add a pepper or something. Exactly. And whether you like it hot or not, the spice merchants have got you covered. So what are your, some of your more rare spices? Uh, over here we have a spice called cardamom. This is probably... Cardamom. Cardamom. This is probably one of our rare or harder to find spices. Go ahead and smell that. It's got a fantastic Whoa. aroma. Very it's nice. kind of piney, but not mm -hmm. really. It's, it's you tell me I didn't just say piney. While touring the store with Lisa, there was no question which one of us actually knew what we were talking about. She's another great example of someone who took a passion and turned it into a thriving Michigan business. She is the real Spice Girl. And speaking of spices, lunchtime at Carytown offers a number of really good options. But the one that hooked me and the crew was Monahan's Seafood Market. For more than 30 years now, Mike and Lisa Monahan have been selling and preparing fresh seafood for all of Ann Arbor to enjoy. And their philosophy on fish is pretty simple. Freshness is number one. If you don't start out with the best ingredients, you're not going to have good results. So right, right. That's number one. Uh, another thing is that if you notice, we bring in a lot of whole fish. Most people bring in pre-cut fillets that are filleted in Boston or Florida or Seattle. Right. Right. For one thing, you have to pay for the weight to get all this stuff in here, and you have to pay for the labor to cut it all. Right. So that's one thing that we do that not many people in these parts do, is bring in whole fish and cut them fresh. Now, you mentioned today's special is, um, is Vietnamese blowfish. <laughs> it's not, not blowfish. Oh. Blue, bluefish. Oh, good. Come on back. I'll show you what we're working with here. What's a Vietnamese bluefish look like? Well, oh my God. Tom, this is not a Vietnamese bluefish. The, the name of the dish is Vietnamese bluefish. Oh, he this just vacations a, he there. Did, yeah, this is a Rhode Island bluefish. Oh. Okay, so our fish may not have been from Michigan or Vietnam, but it was passionately and perfectly prepared by Mike and his expert staff right here in the heart of Ann Arbor. It's a perfect place to be in this business. Yeah. People are surprised by that. You know, they think you know, you'd, you'd be better off on the coast if you're going to be in the seafood business. But really, just because of the, the diversity of people here, right, right. We, we can really bring you it in. You bring the ocean inland. We bring it all in and we cut it all right. fresh here. I can't think of an easier way to say this, but if you like fresh seafood sold and served up by experts, 
Monahan's is worth the drive to Ann Arbor and worth a stop at Carytown Market. And if you live in Ann Arbor, hey, bonus! Under the Radar Michigan is brought to you in part by the Michigan State Housing and Development Authority.